Hi, I'm Mary DeSoma and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to prepare an herb roasted turkey. I have to confess, when I was volunteered to take over Thanksgiving dinner for our extended family, I was just a little nervous, but I knew if I can just nail the turkey, everything else would fall into place because after all, it is the star of the show and let's make it shine. Let's get started. Preheat the oven to 350. Okay, let's tackle this big bird. First things first, we have to let it rest for 30 minutes. And then of course, don't forget to take out the innards out of the cavity. My mother used to make stuffing with it. I don't, but save it if you wanna use it for super stuffing. You wanna rinse your turkey with cold water and you wanna pat it well so that it's good and dry. Okay, now for the fun part, we're gonna flip the wings. We have to flip them under the bird so you just give it a little twist and place it under. There we go. It's a little tricky, but you can do it. Okay, this step is really important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand in the cavity and we're gonna start to separate the skin so that I'm able to then oil underneath the skin and be able to place some herbs in there too. If you get too rough with it, you can poke a hole through. No big deal, you can always uh, sew it back together, but it's nice to just do it slow and gentle so you don't have to have that extra work. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna oil underneath the skin and we're gonna oil in the cavities. So just get some oil in your hand and just rub it in there. I pour a little oil in the cavity. Perfect. Put a little bit of oil on the outside. You gotta love up on the turkey. I've cut up two lemons, so I'm gonna go ahead and stuff the cavity with the lemons. This is gonna give us a lot of juice. I've got some sprigs of rosemary and thyme. I'm gonna stuff those in there. I'm gonna take some of my herbs. I've got here some loose thyme, loose, loose rosemary, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some of it underneath the skin. I put a little bit of salt and pepper inside. Add a little bit more oil to the outside. And I saved a few of the herbs just to sprinkle on the outside. A little bit more salt and pepper. Okay, so we wanna make sure that the legs are tied together. My uh, turkey came this way, so I, I was able to skip that step, but you could take some twine, some butcher's twine, and tie that up. And you also wanna make sure that you trim any excess fat that's in the opening. Uh, mine came already trimmed, but sometimes there's a lot of extra hair. You just wanna cut that off with a scissor. Now we have to place our vegetables on the bottom of the pan, so I took my rack out. We've got some quartered onions. Just lay them in there. I've got some slices of carrots, half inch slices, and some celery. You need all this goodness for when it's time to make your gravy. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get this big bad boy into the roasting pan. Very nice. 
Now it's time to put the turkey in the oven and we have to make sure to put our oven safe meat thermometer in the thigh of the turkey. Just be careful that you don't um, get it on the bone. Okay, we'll have to check on the bird in a little bit. All right, let's check this turkey out. Ooh, we got a lot of juice. Now don't forget to baste your bird about every 30 to 45 minutes with the pan drippings. When the bird reaches 150 degrees, turn your oven up to 450. Do this only if the outer skin isn't brown enough for you. All right, let's check this turkey out. Ooh. Oh, it's registering at 170 and the thigh, it is done. Let's pull it out. Oh wow, and we got plenty of juice for gravy. Now we have to let the bird rest before we carve it. Perfect color. Now it's time to carve the turkey. Here's our turkey, all carved up. I cooked a 25 pound turkey its estimate time of cooking is about five hours, but the key is you want your thigh to register at 170 degrees. So I would start checking your bird at about three, three and a half hours so you make sure not to overcook it. You want it to be juicy and this bird is juicy. Let me have a taste. Oh, it's so moist, it's so juicy. This one, we knocked it out of the park. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy these recipes with family and friends. To see the full recipe, see below. And don't forget, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Blame It on Biscotti.